Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, as Eric just mentioned, a couple of big series here across the valley. Here down at uh, PK Park, Ducks and Bruins just getting ready to kick off. As I mentioned a second ago, most of the rain from earlier today is pretty much done. Now, we probably could get some light drizzle, maybe even some heavier drizzle at times in the early innings, although I think we'll likely be fairly dry. It is a little soppy out there for the rest of the night tonight, though. Uh, same thing as you get up towards Corvallis, so the Ducks getting ready, or excuse me, the Beavs getting ready to take on their series this weekend uh, also have the same threat some light drizzle it's going to be cloudy kind of cool and damp tonight tomorrow and sunday's games looking a lot better as our weather will start to improve so here's what we've got as we go in towards the rest of the night tonight most of the heavier showers are what's left out there is going to be up into the cascades and up in the mountains and then pretty much because it runs into the mountains and it gives a little bit of extra lift for it, a little upsloping shower activity there uh, post frontal showers is pretty much what we're calling this the wave that was pushing all of that through earlier today now moving south of boise had a couple of oh we'll say a little cluster thunderstorms try to fire as they work their way across the border as well in the southwestern sections of Idaho but for the rest of the night tonight officially I'm going to keep a mention of some isolated showers in the valley here but I think that'll mainly just be some light drizzle we'll see those temperatures fall down a little cooler tonight into the mid 30s still upper 40s or mid 40s it excuse me upper 40s down in Coos Bay same thing as you get down towards the Umpqua and Roseburg will be around 47 so the temperatures today only got up to 59 degrees as we expected it was going to be a little cooler with the showers and clouds even starting off as warm as we did this morning at 49 degrees well above where we should be this time of year and we'll start to see the overnight lows get a little closer to that average of 40 as we clear the skies out over the next couple of days so next so oh, let's say six seven hours here's what we're looking at there's that little weak trough sliding across the state as that continues to get further away from us we'll see the high pressure ridge that's moving all of this moisture in the northwest now start to lift northward and that'll eventually shut this oh we'll call it a faucet off basically now what we're expecting over the next couple of days is for that high to strengthen and move north up into northern pacific basically in the gulf of alaska we're also going to see some warm air start pulling northward out of california you add both of those together high pressure aloft means you start to clear out the skies and it should be a fairly decent weekend and in fact if you're going to be doing some camping this weekend the coldest spots will likely be up in the northern cascades where they could get some light to uh, we'll say moderate snow showers early temperatures will be in the 30s freezing levels as you can tell all between around four to five thousand feet so here's how it stacks up cloudy light drizzle tonight slow clearing for the saturday uh uh, period of the Oregon relays that uh, a lot of the uh, duck football folks will be doing taking care of tomorrow sunny again by Sunday and then as we head to next week that's why we see the warm air in place the high pressure aloft and that's going to keep us very warm for this time of year wait till you see what we've got the seven days so the coast morning drizzle at times tomorrow it'll be breezy but much drier by Sunday Monday as well Tuesday Wednesday mid 60s great days out at the coast and then the wind switch start moving off the ocean again by next late next week but no showers just yet in the Umpqua Basin tomorrow will start off foggy but should be able to break out some sunshine in the afternoon in the low 60s take a peek out towards Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday as we see the temperatures soar into the upper 70s to around 80 degrees and then finally here in the Cascades we'll see morning showers freezing levels of 4,000 feet tomorrow again most of that uh, shower activity wrap up pretty quick Bend and Rebden mostly sunny tomorrow breezy for the next couple of days and mid 60s and very pleasant out in central Oregon and here in the valley sun breaks tomorrow afternoon still cooler but then upper 60s by Monday and mid 70s Brandy by Wednesday and Thursday and I think this pretty much is going to put an end to the ski season across the states freezing levels will be about 12,000 feet it's that time of year when things start to warm up and the snow starts to melt yeah it pretty much is that's about it thanks Justin you bet